P.K. Guerra is the MD of the company now joining in to discuss the quarter gone by. Thank you so much for joining in. It's clearly been a very stellar quarter for you this time around. Mr. Guerra, tell us what are the factors that have contributed to your earnings? Well, the factors are the prices in the market we are able to realize. Primarily that. Because please understand, uh, caustic soda uh, takes about 58% of my revenues. I mean, our, our bottom line comes from the caustic soda. 58%. So obviously, caustic soda's comparison with the first quarter of the previous year, which was only 27,000 rupees, it is 40,000 rupees. But it is less than the quarter four of the previous year. Okay, uh, clearly it's been a stellar quarter for you. Now, moving right on, what uh, has been the split between your volume growth and the pricing improvement, if any? Bulk of it is from the prices. Volume is a growth, but which is 3-4% only, right? not significant, I can call, because we haven't added any capacity. Our capacity utilization is already running 90% kind, you know, 88 to 92, somewhere in between. Okay. And uh, can you also tell us what has been your capacity utilization? How is the key product revenue mix this time around? What have been the realizations and the trajectory for that as well in the near term? Oh, yes, there are ways, you know, we are, uh, what we have done uh, is we have added new generation elements uh, for the caustic soda electrolyzer. And this uh, consume less electricity, give you more uh, output. So we are now planning expansion. We call it refurbishment or retrofitting or, you know, so, so we are doing this because we had old generation uh, uh, elements earlier working with us. We have, we have gone to fifth plus, five plus generation elements. So, so that's how no, 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 it has improved our profitability in terms of cutting down the electricity, which is actually 58% of the cost of uh, my input cost. So when you are having high production, low cost, obviously your profitability will go up. So where do we see your EBITDA margins then ranging this year, given that your expected volume momentum and operating leverage does seem to be intact? I, I was mentioning to you, from the Q4, when you look at, at least caustic soda group has slightly gone down, 40,734, 40, which was number for the Q4. In Q1, it is 40,108. So the prices are under huge pressure right now. Uh, imports are coming. And when you say prices, it is on the electrochemical unit. Because while producing uh, caustic, you also produce chlorine. Now, chlorine, fortunately, demand supply has been favorable in the sense we are getting positive prices. In the previous year, uh, we were getting negative prices. So when we calculate, it's on the ECU basis. We call the uh, realization on ECU basis. So ECU basis, we are good. But caustic price, no. It is as again 38,889 to come down to 35,000. And it is going sliding down. But chlorine becoming positive, the overall net become, what was minus uh, uh, 1,500 is positive now in chlorine. Okay, and finally, before um, we let you go, can you also, um, you know, talk about your overall pro profit as well as your volume growth, what investors can look forward to this year? Outlook, it is very difficult to predict because uh, the China has started coming back, my understanding is. And uh, our exports are okay. We're not a very big exporter, but uh, overall... Uh, there is a growth uh, of about 20% in export also, but our base is so low, 20% will not be look very high from 250 to 325 crore. So that way it looks very good. But our company is about 2,500 crore company. And uh, we continue to perform better uh, relations with our, uh, we have settled uh, pay with our employees uh, uh, recently. And uh, so, so I don't uh, see any reason why our performance uh, should be below what we have been doing. All right. Thank you so much for taking time out and joining.